In this video, we're going to explore set lists. That's creating them and managing them. How do we do it? Well, the first thing we need to do is head up to our menu and select set list, which you can see highlighted here. It's the three lines. So we have add and edit, which will, of course, allow us to create a set list and then edit and manage. So let's create our first set list. Let's click plus and we're going to give it a title. Now, a little tip here is that we can use emojis. So I am going to give this a heart and I'm going to call it my first set list. And there we go. And once that's created, you'll see we are now brought into the set list itself and we've got the same options. We've got add and we've got edit. You will see also here there's some filters which we will take a look at a little bit later on. So let's create this set list. So as I click plus, we're going to bring about a new window. Now in this window, you'll see it's divided into two halves. On the left hand side here is the set list. And as you can see, there's nothing here. There's no titles at all. And also this item count is very useful, certainly if you've got a larger set list. But on the right hand side, are all the files that are contained within the library that you've got selected. So if you are in a particular library, you will only have uh, access to those files in the right hand side. If you have all libraries selected, everything that is essentially in Fourscore will appear here. Now, it's possible to get straight on with this and to basically start clicking and adding the various songs that we see. And the first tip that I want to give you is that you'll notice that with the three songs that I've just brought in, a little dot has appeared next to the title, which means that it's present in the set list that we have listed on the left hand side. Now, that's particularly useful if you have a lot of songs in your set list and you maybe can't see them all in the one screen. Um, because if you think maybe I haven't brought that in, if there is a dot next to the title, it already exists in the set list and it might be that you need to scroll down to access it. But what if you've got thousands and tens of thousands of scores and you don't want to be scrolling this list here? Well, I mean, that is a very valid point, isn't it? And it's a very simple solution. And that is if we scroll to the top of the window, we can then start searching for a particular song. So in this case, I'm going to type in chandelier and then we're going to add that by clicking this. Wonderful. Now, there is something at the bottom of the screen that gets neglected, and there's a menu here at the bottom as well, or some functions at the very least. And I'm going to just draw your attention to, initially, the one in the middle here, placeholder. Now, let's say that you are a function band and you have an evening's worth of music, maybe divided into three sets, and you want to keep it all in one particular set list here within Fourscore. Well, you can divide it up uh, and you can add any form of text uh, and also emojis uh, in as a placeholder. So if I click on this, uh, I'm going to put a little pin in here and call this set two. And as I click that, you will see that that's appeared. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add a, a few more uh, pieces of music in here. So I'm gonna scroll down like so. There we go. And the final function at the bottom, which is well worth a look at, is current. Now, what that means is the score that is open at present in four score can be added to this set list. So rather than having to come into this view and then think, right, what was the name of the song? What was the arrangement? What was the key? You can simply just click current. And at the bottom of the set list, there it is. That's the score that is already open in four score. Now, one of the most important points about a set list is that, of course, things can change. And so in order to manage this set list, we can move these pieces of music around, these files around by grabbing the handle on the right hand side and moving them into any position. Now, when we've finished in this view, we're going to click done. But you'll notice that the set list is still here because this menu is still open. And let's just take a look at a couple of points here. It is possible if we click edit to edit within this kind of small pane. Now, we've got exactly the same functions that we've just seen that we were using in the other screen where we can manage our set list by moving these around. Um, but a larger and, and sort of better scaled view is to click plus. Now that doesn't mean that it's added anything, it simply brought us into this edit window, uh, which like I say, just gives us a larger screen landscape in order to be able to do things uh, a lot clearer. Now you're going to notice as well, because I'm going to draw your attention to it, is at the top here, there's some timings. Now, 
That's because in one of these scores, and it can only be one because it's three minutes and 23 seconds, I have attached a time to that particular score. And that's useful. If every single score has a time, you will be able to see how much playing time this set list has. A really useful tip and a very, very useful function. But coming back out here, we're going to just take a little look at the ability to uh, organise this set list in a, a slightly different way. So obviously we've got manual, title will basically be alphabetical order or thereabouts with a placeholder at the top, uh, uh, reference order, um, fresh is uh, the, the most recent files at the top of the list, and then shuffle is a really nice uh, f a function to maybe be able to, as an example, if you were, say, a cocktail pianist or a busker and you had a pool of songs that you didn't want to necessarily play in the same order each time, Shuffle will basically, as you get to the end of one score, jump to another one not in the same order. So that's a, a really nice feature. So if we just jump back into Edit here, we can see that we've got essentially this select icon. So if we were to touch on this, we can edit a range of files at the same time. Now, what do we want to do with them? Well, um, I'm going to just take one for the moment and I am going to select edit. Now, this information here is basically what you can see by double clicking at the top here for the score. But obviously, this score and this score are not the same. So it's useful rather than having to search for score, bring it into view and then edit it. You can do it in this particular view here. And we can change which libraries they belong to, which set list. We can add audio to them, uh, which I again will explore in a later video. Um, so that is very useful here and also sharing an individual file. So it's possible here to select it and then click share and then bring about the share options. And again, I will look at sharing in more detail in uh, another video. But just as a very brief overview, it's possible to send a PDF, an annotated PDF. So if you've written on it or added any notes, that's possible to share that particular version. And of course, as a four score file. But I'm going to head out of here now and then we're going to look at set lists and sharing set lists because obviously I just did a very brief uh, sort of demonstration there on actually creating and sharing um, a, an actual piece of music whereas this now if we click edit we're going to be able to have the same options but we can share the actual set list and you'll see that there are more options available now we've got set list only and what that will do that if you have a say a library of songs um, and for, for different instruments let's say you're part of a band and you've got keys guitar bass drums and everybody's got the same title and this only kind of works if you've got exactly the same title you can share the set list only and it will automatically create the set list on their version of four score and will bring in the right scores so long as the uh, the song titles, the file titles are identical. With include scores, this would basically send a set list with all of the files. So again, if you didn't want maybe someone to have all of those files, then this isn't the option to do it. But if you have, say, uh, the need to, you you need a depth keyboard player and you want to send the, the set list and the files, this would be the option to do that. And then of course, you have the ability to almost create a book. A merged PDF will, uh, will put the whole set list together in one single PDF. Again, a very, very useful function. And then there's an annotated merged PDF which will allow you to create the same book, but if you've annotated the scores with, I don't know, you've highlighted repeats or you've put a, a metronome mark at the top, then this would be the function to do that. Then you can also just send a text list of the titles that you have got within your set list. So if I give a click to this now, you'll see that, for example, if I wanted to bring this to notes, it's possible then to create a note um, and share that with other people as well. So that brings me to the end of our set list. I hope that this has been useful and there have been a few pointers that maybe that you didn't know uh, before, uh, but I will see you next time.